Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Well, I thought I would do a market review today. Uh, good day to do it. The market was so, so strong today. The market power trended since, it since the open today. And the interesting thing is when the market opened today, I, I said there is a small, small, slight chance that we could go to the high resistance level and completely retrace um, everything with a drop down and go into the biggest area of resistance. I said there was a small chance that would happen. Uh, that's exactly what happened. I thought it was more likely that the market held bullishly today, but didn't make a big, big move. However, it made a big move. And, and it made a big move here really uh, at, this was about three o'clock, but it just held bullishly all day and just was never gonna co come in. And at the time that I saw this here, I thought we were gonna do a 15 minute sell setup here, but just come in somewhere in here and then still do a buy setup. We didn't even go anywhere. Where we tried to do the sell setup, we failed immediately and didn't even come in and break this level. We were just so strong. And then we broke out into new highs here into the 12 o'clock period here at lunch. And then we held again and did another buy set up here. In fact, look at that. The market spy ran up a dollar, a dollar from that 15 minute buy. This is actually a really nice long trade here just to, just to buy the spy. Stop could have been under 168.10 and this ran up here more than a dollar, a dollar 10 just with that move. So I've been saying for the entire year pretty much of the market's bullish. And even I was looking at everything and looking at everything in the last few days of trading and saying that there was a possibility that we could come into a very deep level of uh, support, either here or here or worst case here, 160. We didn't do it. We didn't do it and we're not going to do it. And if anyone's second guessing themselves now, there's no reason to second guess anything. We are in a strong market. The, any time the market comes in, it gets bought. And I did think it was going to happen around here, but then we came down. We fell in this gap down here, fell in this gap down here, but we fell so hard the last two days. I thought, okay, fine, we're going to come into another level. But then when I got up this morning, we gapped up. I said, we're definitely, definitely bullish. I just didn't think we'd do it today. I thought we'd come in into here. Like 168, 168.25. We just ran on straight on through. So we're higher tomorrow. Higher tomorrow. Despite the big fat bar today, it doesn't matter. In fact, I think we gap up tonight into tomorrow morning. The market, I think, gaps up. And how far we gap up will depend on how we actually trade on the day. So for people that went long today, it was a really, really, really powerful day to be long. It, but if you didn't get long out of the gate, it was hard to get an entry in things because they just opened and ran. And interestingly enough, there wasn't that many good bullish gaps today to look at this morning. And I did play the weakest possible thing I could have today. It just flatlined really with the market doing this. Look at this market here. Look, power trend up into the close. Look at this. Incredible. So yeah, we're gonna gap up tonight and tomorrow. So if we gap, if we gap up here, we're just gonna open and run. If we gap up here, I think we open and run. If we open neutral, we open and run. There's almost nothing we can, we're not gonna do here tomorrow to open and run unless we gap up so high. We'd have to gap up to here to go red tomorrow. If we gap all the way up here, We'll probably trade right on the day, but we're still, you know, obviously very strong. We might even hold in the middle of no man's land. I mean, this is just lots of power coming in. This is buying. This is more buying that's coming into the market, new buying today. New buying that's coming in and people that thought we were actually in a downtrend, which I knew we weren't. I knew we weren't in a downtrend. I, I thought we were in an uptrend, but I thought we'd pull in more and we didn't. We just didn't know we're not. And this is the shorts getting stopped out. And this is new buying coming in. So that's, that's why this bar looks like this. I mean, look at this breakout here at three o'clock. This bar actually is a dollar, one dollar bar in the 15 minute in the spy. So beautiful bullish market here. It's going to continue. I did think it would continue into the end of the year. I thought we might pull back some uh, until we got bought to make new highs. It is on the horizon here though for us to make new highs now into this earning season into the fall period. Today is only October 10th. So I'd say we may break out to new highs in the next week. It's doing it. So I've read the market very, very well uh, this year. 
reading the bullish uptrend. And even as much as I like to go bearish, every time we've had these big red bars, I've looked at it. Every time we've gapped down, I've looked at it every time. And I thought we could pull in a little bit more before we actually rally. But when we gapped up this morning, I knew we wouldn't. I just didn't, I thought it was low odds we'd have a day like this, but you know, anything's possible when you're in a certain trend, anything can happen that's a big move to follow through with the trend. And since the market's in a bullish uptrend, any excuse to continue the trend in a big way is just going to come in. And that's what happened here today. So really nice, strong day in the market. Beautiful, beautiful move in the SPY continuation and follow through with all the bullish gaps in the market. We should gap up tonight, tomorrow morning in all the markets. And we'll just see where we gap or how big the gap is to determine how we're going to trade actually on the live day. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you'd like more information on the upcoming gap course, uh, it's this weekend, October 12th and 13th. Email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks, everyone.